How to take Sloop 332. Well, in this video, I'm going to unpack why you may be underdosing it or overdosing it. I'll also show you how ridiculous the clinical trials are and how much Sloop 332 they were giving these mice. And so we don't have all the human data yet, but I'll give you some ideas of how this may be the closest thing we have to exercise in a bottle. I'm Reagan Archibald, founder of Ageless Future. We've been in practice for 21 years and we've helped thousands of people optimize their health. I make these videos because I believe health is your most valuable asset. You're a better father, a better husband, better wife, better mother. We create better communities when we're healthy. And so if there's things we can do to spread health, I hope to share these on the channel. One thing I've been obsessed with over the last decade are peptides because I've seen the dramatic capabilities of peptides and their ability to regulate your natural rhythms in your body. And so I think Sloop is one of those, but technically Sloop falls in the small molecule category. It fits in peptides, it's lumped in there because it's one of these performance enhancements, does seem to give the body better mitochondrial function, better energy, we burn fat more effectively on it. But it is a small molecule that was discovered just a couple of years ago out of the St. Louis University School of Medicine. Hence, SLU. And then you can think of SLU as St. Louis University. And then we'll be talking about the pathways that it works on. But one of the things you can do, you can take this either as an injection or you can take it orally. And after the study came out on mice, they gave mice a single administration of Sloop 332. And they tested the mice how far they could run before. And then they put them back on the treadmill and the mice could run 70% farther after a single administration. So I said, I've got to get this peptide. This is amazing. And so I found a research source of it and utilized it on my own experiment. Please don't do this, but I was very curious and I tried it and I noticed a dramatic improvement in my mountain biking. There's a trail that I ride called Puke Hill and it gets you to the Wasatch Crest Trail, which is one of those gorgeous trails in Utah. Come mountain bike with me this summer. And uh, when I got up there, I was testing my time and I was able to shave off almost three minutes of my ascent. And um, that was pretty darn good because I test myself every time I ride it. You know, I hadn't done that trail in, in almost six months, so I'd done other things, but I think Sloop was one of those that gave me a little leverage. Now you can also take it orally and most of the time you're taking 25 milligrams every 12 hours because they also found that when you take it orally, it activates this estrogen-like beta receptor. And this is the key component of Sloop 332. Like if you think about what it does, well, it's been very documented that it acts on these estrogen related receptors and it acts as an agonist. So it actually, it turns on a lot of the metabolic functions to help your body perform better. So if you're wondering, well, how to take it? Well, you want to just activate this gene and just keep it open because this is one of the central genes that regulates fatty acid oxidation. It regulates mitochondria. It speeds up recovery. One of the reasons why people call this an exercise mimicry is because it triggers the expression of hundreds of genes that are exercise related and specifically via this what's called the ERRA or the estrogen related receptor alpha pathway and then the secondary pathway that it works on is called the PGC1 alpha pathway and the PGC1 upregulation is really important for what's called mitochondrial biogenesis so that's a bunch of different words but if you could turn on the energy switch if you think of mitochondria anytime you turn on this PGC1 alpha you get better what's called AMPK expression. So you have this secondary energy system. Your cells get loaded with these battery packs. So if you think of mitochondria as batteries, and then the older we get or the you know, more stress we have or the infections we get, the chemicals we're exposed to, these battery packs start to get weak. And so when you turn on that gene, it's like charging the battery. Like now your phone works or now your brain works better. Your body works better. From an exercise recovery from a sports perspective, the other thing that the Sloop 332 does 
is it enhances muscle repair and it works directly on the satellite cells in your muscles. And that's profound because you'll have more endurance. Now, Mod SC is another peptide that we've talked about on this channel. Mod SC, some people call it exercise in a bottle. And that one for good reason, because it, it also works on the satellite cells. It activates uh, Mod SC as a mitochondrial encoded peptide and it turns on genes to express greater levels of AMPK. So you can mute mTOR just a little bit, you increase folostatin because Mod SC is a myostatin inhibitor, and then you get this greater level of expression of AMPK and you have better energy. And it seems like SLOOP332 works on some of those same pathways. What they've also been looking at in the research is they said this molecule, this SLOOP332, it's cardioprotective, so it improves heart contractility, it reduces cardiac apoptosis and fibrosis, it also enhances post-infarct remodeling and supports metabolic recovery after cardiac events. So this could be something that we want to consider as a potential treatment for people who've had cardiac events, which is devastating. It's anti-inflammatory. It down-regulates tumor necrosis factor alpha, IL-6. So it supports autophagy and mitophagy. Mitophagy is when your body basically eats its cells and the cells that are underperforming. It just, uh, that's why we exercise. One of the reasons, one of the benefits is those underperforming cells get replaced with brand new sparkling cells. And then mitophagy is when the mitochondria that's not producing the energy levels, that gets flushed out. You get new mitochondria and that's where that PGC1 alpha expression is so critical and such an important part of this SLOOP332. It helps with muscle atrophy disorder and it may help prevent muscle wasting. Some of the things that we're finding is, yes, it helps with muscle gain, muscle repair, muscle regeneration, helps exercise mimicry, and then it also is cardioprotective and does seem to help regulate uh, fatty acid oxidation. So that helps stabilize some of the blood sugar. They've also looked at it for non-alcoholic steatosis in the liver, but the best way to take this is every 12 hours. And then you wanna cycle on and cycle off once again, this video is not medical advice. This is me sharing with you some of the research on what I believe to be a very powerful molecule that we're gonna to wanna to watch. And for those of you who wanna go deeper in your health journey, work with one of the world's leading teams in longevity medicine, go to agelessfuture.com and click on the link for your health span assessment and my team will take care of you. I'm Reagan Archibald, I'll see you in the next video.